Hello everyone and welcome to another art tutorial. Um, today we're going to do a new exercise. I hope you've been enjoying the ones thus far. All you need is a piece of paper and a pen or whatever you want to draw with. I recommend a pen so you can be okay with your mistakes. Alright, let's begin. Um, today you're going to start with a line like before. Um, so we're going to start with one dot over here and one dot Oh, somewhere over here. And then we're going to just trace our line like we normally do. Um, because I have to film vertically, this line isn't very long. But it, uh, when you do this line, try and make it as long as possible to make your life a little bit easier. And you'll see why in a moment. Um, <clears throat> so today, uh, last time, we drew squares. I'll just draw one down here. We drew squares, all right? Today we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, we're going to draw a line, and we're going to make sure it's vertical, straight up and down. So you can either mark it with points, or you can, and then connect them up, or you can just draw a straight line. Okay, and then from here, all you're going to do is take this point and this point, and then you're going to connect them up. And then this point and this point, and connect them up and this point and this point and connect them up. And this point and this point and connect them up. All right, um, if you wanna make this exercise again less confusing like the others, try using different colored pens or pencils or whatever you intend to draw with. Um, this one especially might get a bit confusing with all the lines that are gonna be drawn. So from here, I want you to draw another vertical line in between the lines drawn here. Anywhere is fine. Just make sure it's vertical. If it's crooked, that doesn't matter. We're here to learn. And remember, everything is a practice that gives us license to do whatever we want to do. So, And we're going to do one on the other side. So if we count this as the middle, there's going to be on the left, one on the right. I'm going to draw a line straight down. Okay. And then from here, you're going to do the exact same thing we did with this one, but with these these lines. So you're going to take this point and this point, and you're going to draw a straight line, or whatever kind of line you want to draw. This point and this point. Draw a line. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this point and this point, draw a line, and this point and this point, and draw a line. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put one more line. But this line, we don't have to think about. It's going to be this point and this point, and they're going to join up. Okay? Um, so that's the basic part of this exercise. And we want to try and do 10 of those. Um, the only rule here is the, these lines cannot go outside here. Otherwise, we run into some sort of, some like out here, past these points. Otherwise, we run into some trouble. So here, join the line. Join the line. Join the line, join the line, and then make a line somewhere in between. Um, yeah, and then be, be confident. Try it without doing two points and then joining them up. Just draw the lines and see if they look vertical to you. And if they don't, then you just adjust for the next one. I'll, I'll explain in a moment, but then we're going to join this line and this line this line and this line and then we join the two corners at the back okay and you'll start to see something interesting here um the other way you can show off uh these boxes that we're drawing basically um without having to use different colors is that you can just embolden the lines that you see a box with like this. And this is actually a very good habit to get into because when you're drawing you want to emphasize certain lines if you're doing line work or line art or you can emphasize a shadowed area. Um, for instance, let's try another one. I'm going to put one way all the way over here and always, always, always don't be afraid to overlap with other lines. So we're going to draw there, there, there. There, line, line, connect. 
This is basically a big game of connect the dots. And I'll show you other ways to make this fun. So from here, if you want to show a shadowed area, say there was light coming from this, oh, sorry, this side. So um, there's two things you can do. For this one, maybe you just do some lines to indicate that it's a shadowed area and then do some other lines down here to indicate it's another shadowed area. Or you can e make it your life even simpler and only darken the lines on the side where the area is shadowed. Now what do you do with these lines because they're somewhat in shadow? Here's the fun part. You darken from this side and then you stroke up. Darken from the side that's the darkest and then stroke up. Darken from the side that's darkest and stroke up. And then as you can see, you have this cool perspective line going along. You have these uh, things fading into the light, which is another cool effect that you can get from this. Um, some other things that you can do with this exercise is here, and instead of drawing a straight line like the other exercise, you can draw a curved line. Just make sure all the curved lines are the same Otherwise, you get some wonky things happening. And then, just like before, you make two lines in between those, and then you curve those ones, just like bullets. If you get that joke, it's a terrible one. And then you curve the lines here, and you join up the lines. Some other, another thing, uh, going back to these uh, darkened lines, so I'm gonna put one up here so we don't get lost. And then, connect the line, connect the line, Connect the line, and connect the line. Here, here, connect, connect. Make noises too. I mean, that's that's something Bob Ross always said. Make some noises, makes it more fun. Um, here's what else you can do. You can see the corners here, and pretend there's no light for a second. See the corners? You're gonna just darken the edges on the corners. This is a very, uh, this is kind of like a simpler way of doing this one, but it's also a good, another good practice to get into, so you can highlight certain edges with with the darkened, uh, darkened lines or thicker lines, and then it kind of bring, it makes certain things pop. And then you can take this idea, and then we're going to change it up slightly, and we're going to make it even more interesting. We're going to draw our line, but we're going to start from either end and we're going to work our way in so that only the darkest part is from the side. Then we connect the lines and we're going to start thick and then we're going to just trail off. And then we're going to go thick and then just trail off. Try it in all combinations. Try going thick from the point and then the line or try going the line and then getting thicker as you go. And then you're going to do the same thick thick, thin, thick, 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 thin, add some depth, and then connect the lines, thick, and then trail off, and then trail off, oh, sorry, trail off, thick, see, we can always make mistakes, thick, trail off, thin, tra thicken, and then connect the ones like this, and then you've done that already. This takes some forethought, but it's a really good ex this is a really good way to do this one as well. As you can see, we've gone from simple and then we've tried to vary it slightly. So always yeah, always try and find new ways to draw, draw the boxes because this is a very simple exercise, so it can get quite boring to do 10. Um, always try and vary your method of drawing these. You can uh, always add things inside, draw a cat inside, whatever you want to do. You can even take this exercise and try and model it in real life. Try and see something in real life that you can kind of see the shape and try and draw the same kind of box. Um, the variations are endless. Experiment. If you come up with any on your own, please do uh, show me and uh, leave a comment on the video and I'd love to hear the ideas that you guys come up with. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you later.